es necesario más que un pequeño estímulo para poder desencadenar toda una reacción eh, de defensa del cuerpo. La primera ventaja que tenemos aquí en Yucatán es, es sobre el método tradicional, pues es que es barato, pero no solo porque sea barato, sino también porque es, es efectivo. ¿no? We have been treating uh, epidemics of hepatitis A, like tuberculosis, conjunctivitis as well, dengue fever. The, the benefits of using uh, homeopathy are very high with very low risk, but in addition, it's a low cost medicine. She was, she went in just clutching her ear, and she, within 30 seconds of taking the remedy, virtually, she was fine. Well, after taking the mercury for the day, it eased off totally, and then by the morning, the following morning, there was no pain at all. So I'm really impressed. We have got three Nepalese doctors, and also we have um, European doctors coming here regularly every month. <laughs> So she is ill for how long? I don't know any other medicine which is more ideal than the homeopathy because you know in the homeopathy if you take a box full of remedies, you no, know, you can go anywhere of Nepal and you can cure almost all the diseases. Before I joined the, uh, the institution, I was running mobile clinics across the country. I must have traveled almost uh, like uh, five provinces, and uh, the results were quite remarkable. That's what really triggered me to really love homeopathy. <laughs> If we are able to um, regain our confidence in our traditional way of looking at the world, then homeopathy will be seen to fit in very well within that uh, uh, worldview. That only about 20 to 30 percent of the patients treated on this project are known to be tested HIV positive. Many people are untested and this reflects the overall situation in the country. There is a plan to carry out research to investigate the integration of homeopathy in the treatment of HIV AIDS with special emphasis on the alleviation of the toxic side effects of the antiretroviral therapies. I see the health of every single Kenyan being radically changed. It's wonderful to have all the volunteers that we do come out that help to do short training and work in the clinics. But at the end of the day, unless there's a grassroots level work going on where ordinary Kenyans are being trained as homeopaths, it's not sustainable. <laughs> Hunting with a homemade gun can lead to horrendous accidents with gunpowder, which can be treated effectively with homeopathy, quickly promoting the appearance of new skin. The enthusiasm of the students, the dedication of the tutors and the appreciation of the patients all bodes well for the future.
Women we see here are all widows, all age widows. They are on their own because the moment people know that uh, these women have AIDS, they will be severely stigmatized. The families will come and take away all their property and uh, everything they've got really and they're left on their own. So when they come back a week later and they're feeling much stronger and much better and they can go and work in the field, then they've got something to feed their family with, so you've, you've helped the whole family to survive. Homeopathy works fantastically. It's effective. It has no side effects. It costs near to nothing, and people can learn it. And the people here are voting with their feet. And the local authorities are voting with their feet, and they're saying, yes, this works, this is worthwhile, this is what we want. Somebody,